Welcome back to the channel, my friends. If you're a subscriber or new here, you guys did a good job and stumbled across the right freaking video, man. Aren't you all tired of watching videos about cross-site scripting or bug bounty hunting and nobody actually shows you how to find them in the real world. These guys either just show you a stupid CTF or they talk about it in theory and then they shove you off their video to go find it by yourself out there in the wild. Well, I'm sick of it. And this is the only channel out there that exposes their secrets and I catch a lot of hate from them too. So support your boy and subscribe to the channel while I support you and get these bug bounties under your belt because right now the bounty world is on fire for the cisco cross-site scripting vulnerability known as cve 2020 3580 and who better to show you how it's done out there in the wild other than your boy so stay tuned because in this video i'm going to take you from start to finish so you can find your first cross-site scripting bounty this week on the secret letters of a hacker. Cue the intro. So like I said, the world of hacking and bug bounty is on fire right now and everyone is searching for this cross-site scripting vulnerability found in Cisco ASAs and web clients. And this vulnerability has a severity of medium. And again, the weakness is a reflected cross-site scripting. In order to find this, we're going to start off first with a Shodan search. Log into Shodan. I used a Python script to do my search. If you're interested in that, it's over on my Patreon page and it's the same script that I used to search for the Cisco vulnerability CVE 2020. 3452. Now the Shodan search parameters will be the organization, insert your organization name, and then the web VPN login equals one. And this will bring back to you all the Cisco web client devices. Once you have the web clients, either by their IP address or the domain name, throw them into a text file. Once you have the list, we're going to need to scan them. And I use this awesome Python script over here on github that is an automated bulk ip or domain scanner for cve 2020 3580 so all you have to do is do a git clone cd into the directory place your list of ip addresses or domains that you got from shodan in a text file call it whatever you want put it in the same working directory as the script and the script that you're going to run is called main Dot .py and then it's going to scan those IP addresses or domains and it will output either vulnerable or not vulnerable. So if you see an IP address or domain that is vulnerable, it's now time to manually test this. The best working exploit and obfuscated cross-site scripting payload is this one here. And you can find this in an awesome write-up on Hacker One found here. We're going to use this write up and what we need to do is insert our IP address or domain in the form action box and it's going to do a post method for us. Save this as a .html file, throw it on your desktop or wherever, double click it. It's going to open the location of your IP address or domain. Now, if it's vulnerable, a reflected cross-site scripting box will pop up and that's how you know this domain is vulnerable to this attack. If nothing happens, then you know it's a false positive. Go back to your scan where it says vulnerable or not vulnerable, take another domain, throw it in the form action equals location, test that post method again, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel with doing a write-up. There are a ton of write-ups already out there from bug bounty hunters doing the same thing with the same vulnerability. So you can either take a write-up posted by me or somebody else that already has been validated and then throw in the scope that you found this vulnerability on. If you need a further breakdown of this vulnerability, head on over to my Patreon. I have it posted there in better detail 
along with a ton of other scripts. And I also have more videos that I can't post on YouTube as well. So everybody over there on Patreon, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for upholding the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.